Hi, this is Gary Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you are feeling confident because today the quote of the day is that you can never have too much self-esteem by Nathaniel Brandon. Some people mistake self-esteem with boasting or arrogance. But these are not signs of true self-esteem. These are in fact evidence of lack of self-esteem and lack of self-security in a person. A lack that comes from the need to receive some kind of positive feedback from the environment in which they are in. So what exactly is self-esteem? Well, self-esteem is what a person really inside themselves think of, thinks about themselves and feels about themselves. Self-esteem has nothing to do with what other people, what anybody else, thinks or feels about you. Only what you think and feel about yourself. Although other people can certainly influence our self-esteem at times, they have much less influence than we personally have on the level of our self-esteem, which we influence through our internal dialogue that is happening inside our head all the time. Self-esteem is basically being confident and trusting in our ability to take care of ourselves and to choose the best for ourselves and to believe that we can cope with whatever lies in front of us in our life in the best possible way. It is a feeling that we are worthy and deserve good in our life in all fields. Self-esteem is the basis to success in every single field of life because it builds self-respect which demands self-respect in return. This is important for all of our relationships. Having a high self-esteem also allows us to treat other people with more respect and acceptance. And this leads to even more self-respect coming back to us in return, which further increases our self-esteem. So it's like this spiral. The more you get, the more you increase your self-esteem, the better, the more self-respect you have and the more others have self-respect for you and it just goes on and on. And this is the positive way that, um, that self-esteem influences us. Self-esteem rises when you succeed at things, but it also begins the process of success because you will actually fail to act in the right way if you lack self-esteem in the first place. So you cannot really be happy even if you succeed without having self-esteem. So yes, you can succeed without having self-esteem because you may push yourself uh, to success in order to prove your worthiness to someone. So you, you, become some kind, you become a workaholic and work really hard to achieve your goals. But without self-esteem, you will never be happy even with whatever you achieve. And nothing will satisfy you because you do not feel that you are worthy or you will not feel that you are enough. And you will always want more and more to prove yourself to other people. So no joy can come for such a situation. Self-esteem allows you to persist even when the hard and difficult times uh, come to you. And you will be better at responding to challenges that life throws at you in a more positive way. So this is how self-esteem affects us. Self, having a self, high self-esteem also makes us happier, which is another basis, important basis of success in every field of life. I remember that I read somewhere that it is not uh, uh, what you lack that is holding you back, but what you think you are not that is holding you back. A person cannot have too much self-esteem, just as the quote says. Just like a person can't be too happy or can't be too healthy, there is no such thing as too much self-esteem. When what motivates the person, any person, is confidence in themselves, meaning that they trust themselves and their choices, then they expand their limits and they seek new challenges and achieve their desires. Overall, this is what a healthy state of mind is. When you compare it with the motivation that comes from fear, then th which shows a low self-esteem, then you will see that it leads to self-doubt and a lot of anxiety in your life. But when we justify our fears and try to show the world that we do have self-esteem, this may lead to a lot of tragedy in our life. 
um, and also tragedy to everyone around us. But this is not real self-esteem. This is showing a false face. Now in the news, we hear a lot about, in the past year, about Jeffrey Epstein, which we can see a false face of high self-esteem. But what he had was basically very, very low self-esteem, which led him to behave in the way he did. You can uh, determine a person's self-esteem through the actions that they take. And when we see Jeffrey Epstein's actions, we, he, we see that he looked to increase his low self-esteem by controlling and manipulating other people with sexual exploitation, more and more material acquisition, and popularity, feeling popular among people of power, as well as also his philanthropy. So instead of showing true competence to increase self-esteem through integrity and the right actions, Jeffrey Epstein uh, chose um, the other path that made a false self-esteem but what he really had was a very low self-esteem which he battled to hide instead of battling to in to build and increase a, a high self-esteem in, in himself so we can see the effects of low self-esteem how destructive they are to our lives always when we look outside of ourselves to fulfill our self-esteem we will not find the way to do it and this will lead to a lot of tragedy in our life Self-esteem increases when we show integrity, and uh, which I actually spoke about in a previous video. You can see in uh, video number 32 about how I talk about um, integrity and how to increase it. Self-esteem also comes from taking on responsibilities and not shying away from our responsibilities. Now we see Jeffrey Epstein, uh, what he did when he committed suicide. Uh, this was running away from responsibility instead of facing the people that he hurt throughout his life. Self-esteem also comes by taking conscious actions against our fears. These all build more self-esteem. When we are authentic and true to ourselves, we are honest to others and to ourselves. and when we have the self-discipline to behave in the right way, then we achieve a high self-esteem which will help us in every single field of our life. Self-esteem can change also throughout our, the course of our lifetime. We can change it. We have the power to change the level of self-esteem that we have. And we can increase our self-esteem. Um, and this is basically, we, we don't have a set standard of self-esteem, which we picked up when we were young children. No, we can certainly change it throughout our life. So how do we increase our levels of self-esteem? Well, you begin by learning self-acceptance. And this, is, uh, this can be easily achieved when our behaviors, when the behaviors that dominate our characters, our assertiveness, saying what we want, not in a violent way and not in a too um, soft way. When we're right in the middle, this is assertiveness. And when we are honest and good people. And this will increase our uh, feelings of uh, self-worth and increase our self-esteem. If you watch my daily videos, these will help you build your strength of character. You must also take on responsibility for your actions and the consequences of your actions, both your actions in the past and in the present, and the future consequences of all of your um, actions that you choose to take. Um, this increases our self-esteem when we take on the responsibility. And when we live our life with intention and improve and grow as a person every single day, our self-esteem will also grow and improve. It is also important to cultivate the habit of gratitude. Being happy with your half full cup rather than focusing on your half empty cup. Focus on growth as a person and this will lead you to take on more challenges and bigger goals and uh, which will increase your self-esteem and very importantly also eliminate any self-talk about yourself. Do not speak badly about yourself and also do not allow others to speak and don't, don't tolerate others speaking badly about you. Even if it's a joke, don't allow it. When your self-esteem is high, you will naturally be more open, be more honest, be less anxious, fair you will be and you will not feel threatened by other people and what they will think about you 
uh, with your through your behaviors. You will welcome clarity, and this will help you enjoy life because you enjoy who you are and you reap the benefits of your actions. You can be. We know that we can be either our best friend or our worst enemy, and it's all based on our self-esteem. So now I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life to a better place for you. And the questions of the day questions are, what makes me feel good about myself? And what would make me love myself more? And who are the positive people in my life that I am grateful for? And what more can I be grateful for in my life? So write down your answers in the notebook that I um, recommend that you specifically have for these coaching sessions so that you can look back at them, see your answers, and focus on improving yourself to become the best ver version of yourself. So let's move on to the affirmation of the day, which is I am worthy of happiness. I am lovable and I love and accept myself as I am. I am worthy of happiness. I am lovable and I love and accept myself as I am. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to totally transform your life. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for joining me. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also please subscribe to my channel and press the notifications button to get notifications of videos, new videos that I make every day. And also please visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, for anything to do with natural health and natural living. Thank you very much for joining me.